It is still too early to say what the long-term impact of the ban will be on Apple's business in China. However, it is clear that the ban is a significant challenge for the company. Apple will need to carefully navigate the situation in order to minimize the damage to its business. Apple's stock falls after China bans iPhones in government offices. Apple's stock fell by 6% on Thursday after the Chinese government instructed officials at central government agencies not to bring iPhones to the office. The ban also applies to other foreign-branded devices. The BBC reported that Apple's market capitalization fell by $200 billion on Thursday and Friday. China is Apple's largest market outside of the United States, accounting for 18% of its revenue. The Wall Street Journal reported that the ban was issued by Beijing in recent weeks. It is not clear why the Chinese government has banned iPhones, but it is possible that the move is part of a broader effort to reduce reliance on foreign technology. Apple has not yet commented on the ban. The company is expected to release the iPhone 15 series in the fall, and it is unclear how the ban will impact sales of the new phones. The ban on iPhones in government offices is the latest in a series of challenges that Apple has faced in China. In 2020, the Chinese government banned the use of Apple's iCloud service for government employees. And in 2021, Apple was fined $275 million by the Chinese government for antitrust violations. The challenges in China are a reminder of the risks that Apple faces as it expands into new markets. The company is also facing increasing competition from Chinese rivals, such as Huawei and Xiaomi. Despite the challenges, Apple remains a major player in the Chinese market. The company's iPhones are still popular among consumers, and it is expected to continue to grow its business in China in the years to come. The ban is reportedly being implemented in a phased manner, and it is not yet clear how many government agencies are affected. Some analysts believe that the ban is a temporary measure, while others believe that it could be a more permanent policy. The ban could have a significant impact on Apple's revenue from China, but it is also possible that the company will be able to offset some of the losses by increasing sales in other markets. The ban is also likely to have a ripple effect on the Chinese economy, as it could lead to job losses in the smartphone manufacturing industry. It is still too early to say what the long-term impact of the ban will be on Apple's business in China. However, it is clear that the ban is a significant challenge for the company. Apple will need to carefully navigate the situation in order to minimize the damage to its business.